We all want to be healthy, we all want to be wealthy, we all want to be happy. Do you want to know how to get to this? How to get to that point where you have what you really want, when you really feel good in life? Well, and this is the video for you. Hi, my name is Lot Fimrat. And in this video, I would like to point out a few things that I have come across, that I have learned throughout my own experience and the experiences shared by friends, colleagues, but also what I saw happening with my clients. This video is going to be slightly different from other videos because it's going to be even more anchored into what's happening today in the world. So, let's get started. Why this video? Well, I got triggered by what's happening in the news. I mean, I've been triggered by what's happening in the news for as long as I can remember. And that's why I stopped watching the news for a long period of time. But nowadays it's even difficult, more difficult with social media to not know what's going on. And, of course, what's happening now is the whole story about Notre Dame in Paris. That huge cathedral that started burning. And suddenly, one billionaire after the other is donating money to restore it. And apparently there is already more than enough money to restore the whole thing. And they can do it just before the Olympics. And that was in less than 48 hours. And they're even going to collect more money. The question is, how is this possible? The majority of people on earth are not happy with their lives. The majority of people on earth are not wealthy. An enormous part of humanity is living from almost nothing, with almost nothing, and big part of them are really not happy. Why am I saying this? Because you do not per se need money to be happy. I do not know any rich person, and I know quite a lot of rich people, personally and people more on a distance, who really have all the money that you can dream of, but they're not happy. So my conclusion is money doesn't make happy. What does make happy is true relationships, is knowing that you will always have what you need when you need it, not what you think that you may need tomorrow, but what you need in the moment. That is true wealth. That is true abundance. That is true prosperity. And I've come to experience this. I've had jobs and periods where I had plenty of money, more than I could ever spend. And I've had periods with very little money. But I always had what I needed and enough. The funny part is that when I had the most money, I was not the happiest. Because it was not money that was making me happy. What was making me happy, and there was a period where I was feeling okay while having quite some money, it was because I was doing something that was making me feel good. I was making a difference in the world because I was contributing to a better environment. And I happened to have a good salary as well. Nowadays, I may earn less than what I was earning back then, but I'm making a difference in people's lives again. I'm helping people to transform their lives, to be happy, to get to their full potential, to discover actually what their potential is, what they're great at. It's making a difference in people's lives that is actually feeding us. We are spiritual beings who came on this planet to have a material and a humane experience. You may say this is new age, but even most religions are saying this. So, we can assume there is some truth in it. Because why, why would 
anyway, so many different cultures from around the globe have the same principal idea. And yet, we keep focusing on money, on power, and we ignore what we feel inside. We let us get distracted by social media, uh, big sport events, uh, shows that are about ridiculizing people, laughing at people, by the news who's generally only spreading negativity, by gossip, by what people think about us, what people say about us. Who gives a fuck what other people think about you? Why should you give a fuck? It's their opinion. I heard an expression, I don't remember where, but I loved it. Somebody said, there are as many opinions as there are assholes. Every human being has an asshole and every human being has an opinion about something. And some have plenty of opinions. So why would you care? Transforming your life, becoming truly happy, is not through the outside world, but it's through going back inside you to connect with who you truly are. Stop being afraid of the fears that you have inside, the pain that, you, that you're carrying, but instead letting it out, healing your wounds so that you can get up and be strong again. Even in the movies you watch, when a warrior gets wounded, he takes, cares, he takes care of his wounds so that he can get back up and then fight his fight again. So why don't you become this warrior and start taking care of yourself first so that you can get up and then start making a difference for yourself and maybe for others? It's very easy when you already have plenty of money to donate and like, oh look, I'm gonna give a full euro, but I have 10,000 in the bank. There are plenty of stories about that it was worth more when this very poor old lady took that one coin that she had in her purse and donated it while this very rich man gave a bag with golden coins because the lady gave everything she had and that man gave a fraction of what he had doesn't mean that this man was bad and she was better it's just to show you that giving is what makes you a good person. But it doesn't matter how much you give. What matters is that you give as much as you can. And I wouldn't suggest that somebody gives the last that he has because you need to take good care of yourself. Because in order to be a good friend, a good parent, a good whatever, you need to be strong and healthy. So you need to first take good care of yourself so that people can actually lean on you. Because if you're weak and they come and they want to lean on you, then you both collapse. So you're not a good friend, you're not a good parent. So please, start making a difference by being a good person, by taking good care of yourself first. And in the process, be aware that there are others around you and that you taking good care of yourself means that you can be a better caretaker for others if and when they need it, if and when they ask for it. There are plenty of people who need help. Unfortunately, there are billions of people who need help, even if 
we see those statistics that there is less poverty. They are just statistics. If you go to continents like Africa, or you go to Asia, or even South America, even here in Europe, you will see so much poverty around you. People in need, not just money, but people in need of healthcare, people in need of peace instead of war, people in need of some kind of safety, a roof above their heads, a coat in the winter. There's a lot that we can do, not just through giving money, but for example also through charity work, to doing something and not expecting something in return for it. Just do it because it makes you feel good and you know that you're making a difference. Not because somebody will say thank you. Maybe you'll do plenty of stuff and nobody knows that it was you who did it. But that's fine. You know you did it. So how is this a personal development video? Well, it all starts by you taking good care of yourself and you standing up for yourself and you believing in yourself. And you're letting go of your fears, healing your wounds. And then you can start making a real difference for others. Already by doing these first steps, you are already making a difference by showing to others how to do it, how to stand up, and how to start moving forward. Because most of us are afraid of addressing the wounds, because we're afraid of the pain. It's like when you have a dog and who's injured and who doesn't want you to touch the wound at first because ah, it hurts to touch. But then once you start cleaning it and he starts to feel that you're doing it with love and then he starts to feel less pain then he allows you and the next time he has a wound he comes to you like oh please please I have a wound here. So be good for yourself and be an example by doing this. You will make a difference in your own life and in the life of others. And you will grow really happy. And you will always have what you need when you need it. You will experience true abundance. So go make a difference in your life now. And feel free to ask me if you don't know how or if you need help. I got a lot of help and I'm still getting help when I need it because I'm asking for it and because I really want to grow stronger, to grow healthier, to be able to make a bigger difference in people's lives and in mine. Let's do this together.